How you doing? This is David Johnson, The Grill Beast. What I want to do today is I want to talk about a cooker that I have come to really enjoy cooking on. I love this cooker. I cook on it two to five times a week now. We even started carrying this cooker on our website, grillbeast.com. Uh, if you're viewing this video from somewhere else, like YouTube or somebody else's website, uh, if you go to grillbeast.com, and go to Barrel House Cooker link. Uh, you'll see exactly what we have to offer as uh, bonuses and, and bribes to get you to try this cooker. We have been cooking on this for a few months now. This is the one that I've been using. It's, it's nice and broke in, um, but I wanted to show you one right out of the box. So um, when you order it, it's gonna come in a box and it's very well packaged. You just open it up and the very top box is gonna have the included accessories, okay? And then, and kind of what I'm showing you is how easy this is from out of the box or being delivered to your house, how fast you can be cooking on it. So you just take, lift it right out of the box, set it down, and all this cardboard is just here to protect it during shipment. Okay, there's nothing else left in the box. So you can just kind of toss that aside. And there's just a couple steps that you have to take uh, to be ready. So you just open the lid and this is the base. Just unwrap this and you have to snap this to the bottom. You just close the lid. On the side, you just unsnap your stainless steel clips. Lift off the top. And you just pull the cardboard out, toss that aside. Take another accessory out. Just pull the packing paper out. Um, this is your stainless steel grate. You turn the base upside down. Okay, as soon as you get this unwrapped, you'll notice on the base, you have two tabs. Uh, and on your stand, you have two holes. Just put the one in on one hole. This one tab here, you want to bend up a little and it'll be easier to get it in that hole right there. And if you need to, just take a little screwdriver. And bend the tab down. And then at that point, the base is all ready to go. You just put the charcoal basket back in. It's actually a reversible charcoal basket. It's all stainless steel. Um, you can have it this way, if you are gonna cook something that doesn't take much charcoal, uh, but me personally, I always use it the same way. You just put that back in there and you just sit, place this right back on top. On the sides of your top piece, you'll have two stainless steel um, brackets that the clips go into and it seals it down. Now that we have it all together and we're ready to cook, I really just want to point out some of the key features about this so you can understand the quality of construction this has. Now, starting at the top, you have your thermometer. It's placed, it's screwed into the lid. So it sticks out on the inside. The uh, handle is stainless steel and a composite uh, that has a lifetime warranty on it in sealed rivets, so they're sealed inside and out. The lid is a heavy uh, gauge steel, and it's um, baked on uh, porcelain uh, at 1400 degrees. It has a stainless steel hinge and stainless steel pins. And then on the inside, it has the felt strip that helps seal the top. And I already showed you your H frame. And then your open frame, you can put these uh, on the top also and they fit inside the ring just like it does on the other one okay like this 14 inch diameter steel barrel you have your steel cooking grates your stainless steel hooks you have a steel hanger that hooks onto the side this is your uh, tool which you use to to pull your hooks down here you have stainless steel clips also with sealed rivets and composite uh, thumb handles. On the inside,
You have your stainless steel grate that's reversible. Also, this is stainless steel. This is a heat shield. And you also have your stainless steel uh, adjustable vent. And all you do here is whatever elevation you're in, you just set it to that number. Like in New Orleans, we're at sea level, so we're number one. At number one, you're cooking probably about 250, 275. And if you do need a little bit hotter, you just raise it to a different number. But the corresponding number here gets you to what you would normally cook at. Okay, so um, that's pretty much it. We're ready to start a fire. Okay, so uh, technically we are ready to start a fire and we could start cooking if, if that's what we're ready to do. I wanna point out a couple things. One, again, if you're not on our website, grillbeast.com, go there and see what our bonuses are right now for you to get this barrel through us. Uh, what you also get from us is our personal attention, our training videos, where we show you how to start your fires, how to cook uh, different kinds of food. Um, we're also there with a Facebook group for any questions that you might have. Uh, we're readily available uh, anytime to help you out in learning how to cook on this uh, type of smoker. The learning curve is uh, very short. There's really not much to learn at all. You just uh, hook your meat and you hang it and, uh, and it cooks. You don't really have to babysit the fire at all. And um, you'll see in uh, the rest of our videos, we'll show you just how easy this is. Uh, so make sure you check out the rest of our videos. Thanks.